Okay, our next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, color the polymers for plants. It What it is is, uh, let's see, it's called Soil Moist Granules. It's about $12 for one bag. One bag does tons and tons, so it's great. Uh, what it does is it absorbs and releases water in soil. And um, this is what we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, you take some of the dry crystals, I guess I've got to show you those. Take some of the dry crystals, and they're just white crystals. You see that? And they're dry, and they're little tiny things. Kind of like sea salt, almost. They're big, or little, like, you know, big salt. I mix it up in a quart jar, and I use about three tablespoons, so one, two, you know what, just use two tablespoons or it'll sort of go all over the counter. Um, you put two tablespoons and then you fill it up with water. You'll want to leave a little space at the top so that way the crystals don't over, you know, grow too big. And then you can take any regular food coloring, um, any color at all, and you pour it in the water. Can you hold on a minute, Mom, sweetie? Mom, come look what Papa did. I'll be there in a minute. You just take that and mix it up. And I want it a little bit darker. You put a lot in there. So I want it nice and dark red. Hold down, sweetie. I want it white. I want it. And then you let this sit um, for about two hours. Okay, I can After you let it sit, here. yeah, just leave it alone. Don't. Don't move the camera, please. After about two hours, this will totally, completely just fill up. It'll absorb all the water, and they get really mushy. And each little one, sweetie, that is not so good. Please stop. Each little one gets, um, like, gel. Get down. You're going to have to get down. You've moved the camera one too many times. Thank you. You can store it with the lid on. Uh, you just get it in, you know, any lid, and you can store it. Or if you, if they, if you leave it open and they get dried out, then you just put more water in. They go right back to being perfect. And what, uh, something you can do, Catherine, please stop. Um, you can put it. You can put this stuff in a vase, and then you can put your flowers in it, and you can put. Um, live flowers in it or fake ones and it holds holds the things in place it keeps them from like falling over so it's great to use on um, real flowers if you want them perfectly you know high up there and all and then I just leave this in my windowsill in the kitchen and when I see that it dries out on top I just pour a little more water in and um, it just it it's kind of solid you just can use it over and over for ever I think I don't really know how long you can just use it over and over. Well, it's only been about 20 minutes, but it's already uh, pretty well perfectly um, absorbed in there. And there, it'll just stay red. Just take it. Pour it in your base for your flowers. It's all gooey. And it will make stuff stand up here. I have a paintbrush for you. Just stand straight up and that way it doesn't fall over. It'll hold it at angles and it's really pretty um, when you're decorating for, on your uh, centerpiece. It's really cool. So that's all there is. All there is to it. 
And one more thing I forgot. They have waterproof little lights that you can put inside here now. So it's perfect for like weddings. Um, the centerpieces on the table. And you know, you can just, uh, the little light will shine in there. I don't have any to show you, but I wanted to show you what the light looked like behind it. It's really pretty. So, there you go.